God loves you. Love is a common word now, so much so that you can hardly tell its value anymore. People say it jokingly. People say it to mock one another. Some people say it just to get something from another person. People say I love you and get married and have prenuptial agreements. They go into the marriage planning for it to fail. People say I love you to their partners and even abuse them mentally, physically, and emotionally. People say I love you to their partners and even cheat and have another family on the side for years. You can't trust the love of a human. You can't. You honestly can't. Look at it this way. How many people have told you they love you, but their actions have said otherwise? But there is one who loves you. There is one who will say he loves you and will show it at all costs. There is one who has shown over and over again that he loves you, and God is the one who loves you and will never stop loving you. We know that people do love other people because of what they are benefiting from them. But what happens if they are no longer benefiting from this person? If two people are in a relationship and they break up with each other, most of the time, the love reduces drastically. What I am saying is that when you behave badly towards someone who loves you, it affects the love they have for you. In the case of God, nothing will change His love for you. I see many Christians go through hard times in their lives, and all they do is blame God for allowing hard times to come into their life. Is that the right thing to do? Should we be blaming God or be remembering His love towards us? God loves you, and He will not leave you to suffer. The earlier you realize this, the sooner you will come to the understanding that God loves you. Why don't you start working in the love of God for the world to see the kind of God you serve? God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. God loves you. That is the word of the Lord for you today. The storm may be too much for you. The battle may be too much for you. The challenges may be too overwhelming. The world may seem to be going down to you. But God is telling you today that He loves you. God is not bipolar. He doesn't love you one day and then hate you the next. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He loves you. He loves you. When you go to sleep at night, God loves you. When you are doing things you have no business doing, God loves you. When you are going places you have no business going, He loves you. When you wake up in the morning, God loves you. This is the time to reflect on the love of God. This is the time to think of His love and His goodness. We all know the world hasn't gone through an easy 12 months. At points, as society and as individuals, we have all had hard times at some point. We have all been faced with different challenges. We have all had times where we cried. We have all had times where we felt like giving up. People may have rejected you. They may have stopped loving you. Some don't want to see your face. Some have even disappointed you. But God's love is everlasting. He said He has loved you with an everlasting love. It has no end. It does not matter where you are coming from. The love of God has no end. You know, God said in Isaiah 43 2, King James Version, that when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. 
When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. He was saying that out of love. He was assuring you that we have nothing to worry about, because His love will always find us. The love of God is what we should never take for granted. We should never say, because we are loved by God, therefore, we can go ahead and dip ourselves into sin. That would be disastrous. Psalm 121, 3 through to 8, King James Version. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy shepherd. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. God watches over his children. God protects his children. As human beings, I don't think we truly understand the lengths in which God watches over us. You may ask yourself, why is God watching over me? One of the reasons is because you are His creation, and He cares about His creation. Do you understand that, that God intentionally created you? Don't listen to these evolutionary teachers who believe a germ evolved into a science professor, who can think, feel, and love. No, no. God created you and breathed into you the breath of life. And when you were born again, you became His child. That is what the new birth is about. The new birth is to be born of God, to become His child to leave darkness and to be born into the light. We are not all the children of God. We are all the creation of God, but not His children. John 1, 12. But as many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on His name. Only those who are born again are the children of God. We can't talk about the love of God without talking about you. God loves you, but do you love God? You cannot fool God. You cannot deceive Him. There are so many people who call themselves a Christian and attend church, but yet they don't love God. What I mean by you don't love God is you don't obey His commands. If you love God, you will obey His commands. You cannot deceive God by saying you love Him and not acting like you love Him. John 14, 15 If ye love me, keep my commandments. This is the time for you to change and follow the right path of love. If you do not love, the love of the Father is not in you. You cannot say you love God and not love people. 1 John 4, 20 and 21, King James Version. If a man says, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? And this commandment has we from him that he who loveth God love his brother also. In the course of loving people, we must be careful that the devil does not lure us to love the world. We must not love the world and anything in it, because if we want the love of God to remain in us, that is what we must do. We must not love the world. 1 John 2, 15, King James Version love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, 
the love of the Father is not in him. The love of God is everlasting for us. The love is unlimited. This love has no end. We don't deserve this, but he loves us still. The love of God is the reason you are alive. The love of God is the reason you are here. The love of God will keep you from sickness and disease. The love of God will keep you from failure. It will keep you from depression. It will give you joy. The love of God for you is pure and real. Seek it every day.